I think we're safe in ruling out the possibility of suicide this time, don't you? And we can rule out ghosts. They don't use knives. I might agree with you, Jim. If it weren't for Miss Charles' description of the figure at the head of the stairs. All black with one eye and a mask. Who, Jim? And why? Why should this... This phantom... Phantom? Well, call it what you will. Whatever it is, why should it dignify a drunken stagehand and a miserable rat catcher by murdering them? What had they seen? What did they know? Come in. Ah, Mr. Forbes. Mr. Forbes, this is Inspector Wyatt. Mr. Forbes? Wyatt? Want to sit down? Mr. Forbes is chairman of the board of directors of the Opera House. Mr. Latimer referred me to him when I inquired about the plans of the building. Did you have any luck in locating them, sir? I'm afraid not. As I suspected, the original plans disappeared years ago. Actually, there would probably be a very little help. Over the years, the building has been altered and expanded until it bears very little resemblance to the original structure. How well do you know the building, Mr. Forbes? As well as any man, I should say. Well enough to know that someone could hide indefinitely in the maze of sewers and passageways beneath it. I assume your men have searched them. All of them we could find at any rate. Parts of London are a last word, Mr. Forbes. We can never know what caverns and dungeons and labyrinths exist beneath us. Or what madmen and monsters may inhabit them. 